Hello YouTube, today we are going to install Passenger to complete our Rails production in Amazon EC2 instance. As the very first thing, we install the Passenger gem, which might take a few moments. After gem installation, we need to make sure that no library is missing that will be necessary for Passenger. Library number one is libcurl. It is a client-side URL transfer library. Library number two is Apache Dev which provides development headers. Library number three is Apache's portable runtime library. Library number four is additional utilities to the previous library. After installing these libraries, we must increase the memory for passenger installation. The commands will be available in the description. Finally, we type passenger install Apache module with dashes and hit enter. We press enter two more times to answer the questions. Unfortunately, this installation takes a long time, approximately 15 minutes. At the end of the installation, do not press enter when it asks us to insert five lines of code into Apache configuration file. First copy the lines, and then open a new terminal and SSH into the instance again. Edit the file at etc apache2apache2.conf. Append the copied lines at the end of this file and save. Now return back to the original terminal and hit enter. It will confirm that everything looks good. Finally, we are ready to test our website. Jump into the application folder and restart the Apache server. You can check your website online now. It works as expected, and we have successfully made an Amazon instance work with a domain. In the next video, we will be adding free SSL certificate to our domain.